Welcome back everyone and welcome to a very interesting and good looking ship USS Georgia <clears throat> in my opinion one of the most fun I'm not saying this she's the best but definitely most fun ship you can have in the entire game I do have a Bismarck and you guys probably love to turp it there's nothing wrong with them it's just they are don't quite have the speed and the gun accuracy in gun accuracy i do believe north carolina and probably alabama it's even better in that regard your shell lands way better um guys the thing is what make this ship kind of uh, uh, unique she will give, give her a lot of gimmick big caliber guns you only have six of them but you have one of the fastest ship with this uh, speed boost and good secondary and pretty good uh, heal but there is a catch no matter how strong you are and i'm top dog and this map it's hot spot there will be one ship which will sink me now just a small hint i'm strong ship but there's always one stronger than you hmm who could that be uh, uh, jean bart mm, i'm not saying jean bart it's a it's a bad ship it's a pretty good one matter of fact the dpm of jean bart it's even higher than uh, georgia uh, you you may argue that both of them those two ships are similar in uh, or Close to speed not quite I do believe still Georgia beats the Jean Bart in speed um, In definitely beats uh, her in damage uh, Georgia has slightly better armor than uh, Jean Bart and um, Close in AA department. I believe the Jean Bart probably slightly better uh, but overall the difference it's if you're a tier 8 carrier don't go for Georgia don't go for Jean Bart go for some someone else you might lose you might drop it but you lose all the planes um, I like about Georgia guys is that oomph of the salvo you can hit pretty damn hard and or you miss everything <laughs> Uh, very unfortunately one pen only and two ricochet who that believe there's someone scapping unfortunately I kind of forgot Kagero it's behind that over there uh, absolutely worthless Kagero he does not do his job and we will have a huge problem over here at a because nobody it's even damn about to capping a or trying to stop the cap I cannot go there because there is uh, at least one destroyer who doesn't show you up not z23 because z23 i do believe uh he's reversing someone put, proper put the uh, radar or something um limit uh, the situation here there is uh, three ships i understand i'm top dog and i'm not uh, very afraid of a king george or rp miyoko or this uh, albert lee the tier 8 um, heavy cruiser uk heavy cruiser this is the problem i barely scratch barely that's one heck of a uh, torpedo wall um, so I'm a uh, sit uh, tricky situation over here guys because I'm the, you know I'm leading the Iowa it's also pushing so it's actually from bad to worse I'm actually surrounded by uh, one uh, Iowa one invisible enemy ship and two more here and on the right side uh, RP Miyoko uh, King George, I do believe overextend. This is what happened with him. Fourteen thousand seven hundred, even perfect bow one. This is the reason that tier nine ships versus tier sevens are so darn overpower. He can put me on fire, sure, but he can never do fourteen thousand bow on to me because he does not have the caliber guns. I am reversing here and. Guys, to be honest with you, I'm a very uh, sticky situation. My secondary open up. Not <laughs> to open up real good, you have to show a little bit more of uh, side. I don't want to do that. And he puts me to fire. And my secondary chew him up. What a nice. So, two HE spammer and one torpedo spammer. I will be sunk, but 
guess who will kill me guys once again this pile of crap you if you watching this kagero play something else play another game you are absolutely worthless in playing a destroy what the hell you he's gonna to do over there there's a cap at b and there's a cap at a and what the hell if you are as a destroyer doesn't try to cap I don't want to have vision, I'm the one here who's spotting for everyone and taking the beating and there's uh, and one and two and three H spammer at me. I'm, I'm fine with that and also, um, oh man, fourth, um, an Awa, it's over there, so yeah, very 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 scary situation guys, I cannot engage three, four ships at the same time and this Kagero, he I believe he never once come near any cap whatsoever. And guys, I took a lot of beating. I my secondary open up for the Iowa. I am surrounded, probably by overextend and you know there's torpedoes uh, coming and and so on. And uh, it's not fun. This is probably very unfun to play a battleship. But I do have a small advantage versus anything else. I'm talking about the speed. I'm pulling myself up because I took enough with beating. I cannot take uh, the beating too long. That's the problem with most of the battleships. Sure, you do some. Uh, you ca you can take some beatings, but you cannot take too much of a beatings. You see, once again, I was very lucky that Jean Bart kind of screwed the whole salvo up. But Dimitri Donskoy have no issue whatsoever to hit me the bugger because he has laser gun okay now i see the problem and i will eat couple of tops and i'll get wrecked what kind of replay is this zera yep 10400 damage and the incoming salvo and i'm um, my repair is on cooldown the only thing who's saving me to not get literally sunk is my heal and that is the biggest difference between uh, Georgia's Hill and Jean Bart Hill. That's the biggest difference. It's her heal. You heal uh, way faster than any other. You uh, have heal available. And right now I'm um, uh, low speed, uh, only 20 knots. It's because of this stupid flooding. Now, thanks God that flooding is gone. And this is the problem. Benham, the most overpowered. Uh, broken ship the entire game some of you put her the same uh, uh, annoying and incredible stupid like Smolensk and I do uh, um, agree with um, some of my subscribers that the Benham is the most overpowered broken ship in the entire game sure Smolensk H spam you but Benham can torpedo spam you to death and there's nothing you can do. I do agree both of those ships, even the Benham, should be removed together with Smolensk. It's not healthy for the uh, game when you have uh, 16 torpedoes available every 30 seconds or 45 seconds or something. So stupid uh, from Wargaming they put this ship all together. Uh, Leon is taking a lot of beating, we are surrounded, we are screwed guys and the thing is this looks real bad, uh, Lion will eat 100 torps because why the hell not, it's Ben Ham you talking about, just look at how much torpedo he can pump out and who that guess that he's dead, was it any surprise that he got torpedo? I do some damage to that Dimitri Donskoy. Uh, guys, 17.1 kilometers, it's not so damn easy. Probably if you are in Montana, yes, but with only rear guns, guys, it's not so freaking easy. There is someone who's spotting me, and thing is, right, right now, to, the only thing to, 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 to make any kind of sense, it's, 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 it's simple to go back to B and C where my Jean Bart and Baltimore is because Don Skoy and Baltimore on Jean Bart are pretty healthy. Algeria it's not so much healthy. He's doing the right thing. He's only tier 7 cruiser for crying out loud. Uh, but I want very much stick together because I really need his guns and DPM. 
um, if anyone is trying to um, chase after me. What do you mean, Zera? It's definitely someone chasing. You don't see it yet, but there is one uh, one ship who's chasing me very soon. Even though I have pretty good speed, 34, 35 knots, so 35, 36.3 knots. I am really, really uh, uh, kicking ass in speed department. And probably I would like to say that if I would be any other ship, I will be sunk already because I don't have the speed beside the French one. The French one, it's not bad. So once again, guys, I got detected. I am close to the border for crying out loud. There is a pretty good significant space between me and the enemy team. The thing is, they have overhand so you as a battleship captain try to read the stupid map try to see what the heck is going on and definitely punish your enemy and especially the cruisers there's someone's aiming at me man who could that be it could not be the british one they, he does not have range so i'm a little bit worried that someone is actually target me and who that guess dimitri donskoy the bugger laser 950 meters per second those stupid guns they hit and killed my cruiser and that's real bad because the one who's aiming at me right now he wants to kill me he wants to chase me and i'm freaking at this close quarter very bad i have no more heal i have no more spotter plane i have no more speed boost available in one minute and 44 seconds and the enemy have 737 points and we have 494. Um, one very good looking uh, uh, salvo. Very bad that you did not see it yet. How about once we can repeat? There was 17,000 damage to that dude. And of course, of course, that's your main job. It's to nuke the British uh, pile of crap cruiser line. I believe, guys, without saying too much, the only reason uh, we're giving uh, release this um, stupid nonsense cruiser line is that uh, so they can become a uh, um, uh, food pinata, or I don't know what to say, farming pinata for versus battleship. I play tier six uh, cruiser, and the thing is, man, I feel so bad, so stupid close range and you eat lots of damage i'm talking about every single ship who look at you at the wrong uh, way you are struggling and over here i overextended in that regards detected 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 who the hell detected me dimitri donsko it's for crying out loud must be 18 kilometers away or something like that close to 20 kilometers there is a ship Oh, who that guess who is um, was chasing me the entire battle and I eat two of them 21,000 damage I could almost got wrecked if I'll eat one more torpedo and now I'm down to 3,700 I knew that I was chased because I was I was uh, detected all time and this Dimitri Doskoy just I I tried to pin that there is a destroyer behind my ass. And now he popped the uh, radar for the first time. And where is this uh, son of a gun? There's the Benham. At 8 point now, it even opened fire. He really wants me dead. And I chunked him for whopping 4,700 damage. And my secondary 2 kill. But he's the lucky son of a bitch. He took me with, with uh, his last salvo after he died. Son of a bitch, overpower, uh, asshole. Go and uh, uninstall this uh, stupid uh, uh, destroyer. I believe, guys, in m many ways. What the hell can you do? Seriously. No matter what the hell battleship you were, you still got uh, sunk. Because that sucker, he never opened up uh, only after he got radar. So I was kind of lucky that I had the radar cruiser nearby. But even though I chunked him for whopping 4,700 damage, that's uh, my last salvo, I still been sunk. But his stupid, no good 
pile of crap torpedo spammer the biggest torpedo spammer in the entire game i do believe that stupid 16 torpedoes every 45 seconds it's over overpower as all hell and believe me guys do you think that it was fun for me to be chased by the stupid destroyer the entire game because i knew i was chased i knew it and in, in that regard I very, very much would like to play the Baltimore or the, the, my Alaska and that will be the other way around. Uh, don't get me wrong, the stupid Benham is so freaking uh, powerful, even if I'm playing like a gunball like Akizuki, they can spam the torpedo so much, even the destroyer have struggled to uh, dodge the incoming torpedoes. And that is the truth, guys. I've been many times sunk in my Akizuki for crying out loud, even though I have no issue whatsoever to engage a Benham in a uh, gun department, you know what I mean? But that stupid torpedo reload, um, and they can do so much torpedo uh, drop, there you will be sunk not by uh, Benham's guns, but by the Benham's torpedo. And that is wrong. If uh, Akizuki cannot do his job to kill other destroyer, and what the hell they are supposed to do, you know what I mean? Over here, Baltimore received a huge damn hit. It's the last Jean Bort got wrecked, but on the other hand, Jean Bort killed our uh, Fiji. And there's only Dimitri Donskoy and Baltimore uh, left. Dimitri Donskoy is trying to angle this bullshit angle. Man, remember the Baltimore has one of the best uh, percent to put your enemy on fire because it has even bigger caliber guns than the, the, the uh, and by the way 32 millimeters of HE pen uh, can pen the Dimitri Donskoy from all angles. But he's not alone, guys. Even though the, he died, there is one, um, one more cruiser, and that cruiser it's not a noob. He's very good player, and there's the enemy Zara. <sighs> this was a close call, guys. But the enemy team had a lead like crazy, and there's very little. <sighs> You may argue that the son of a gun had a crazy good RNG on his side that he killed me even after his death he killed me with the last salvo. Uh, but so fun to be chasing um, the entire game wasn't and I was very much uh, lucky that I had this Dimitri Donskoy nearby otherwise I'll be dead and I will never not even know who hits you. And believe me guys, I know this is a game, but I still really mean that the son of a gun, uh, 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 Benham, it's overpowered as all hell. Because the problem is that Wargaming 1, they give her close to Fletcher's torpedo speed and uh, more torps much much more torps and the reload and that's the biggest problem with the stupid uh, destroyer. Um, it's too agile, too um, uh, good of a concealment and you can drop the stupid torpedo way too fast than anything else. Do you think that Shimakaze uh, uh, torpedoes are broken? You may argue that yes they do more damage but you cannot reload the torpedo reload so much uh, so fast as the Banham. That is the problem with Banham. And just like that we won uh, in the point because uh, Dimitri Donskoy played extremely well and he capped the last cap and we actually turned the table. So thanks guys for watching and always Captain's Fear Cease and goodbye.